Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are analyzing smoke loader sample to get the payload from it. Here is a smoke loader sample. I am loading smoke loader sample into the X30, X32 DBG and I will run, run the sample till entry point. We can notice EIP hit to the entry point. To start off, I will put a breakpoints on memory allocations windows APIs, virtual alloc, global alloc and local alloc. There are couple of couple of similar APIs as well. I uh, will initially start with these three APIs. To put a breakpoint, there are a couple of ways. I uh, will prefer to add a breakpoint using command window. I am adding breakpoints on those three APIs right now. We can notice here breakpoint is set. To navigate that, we can also refer to the breakpoint window and check whether its breakpoint is enabled or not. Status we can notice it's enabled. Right T till now we are good and uh, we'll run the sample till hit any of those breakpoints. Well, we can notice here uh, local alloc. API is triggered. I'll library code from the local alloc. We can notice we reach to the user code. We can also see here local alloc is called before, and uh, uh, here is a memory address where allocated buffer will be present. The main idea will be here. Any bytes will be you know modifying or access these bytes then we can add a breakpoint here uh, hardware breakpoints so any of the uh, code will access these bytes or rewrite or modification happens we'll get to know that <coughs> I just came out from the function and we can notice there is a loop presence which is responsible to you know more, uh, copying data from one memory location to another memory location i'll putting a breakpoint on outside the loop and running the code till you know exit from that loop you can notice this bytes are transferred from one memory location to another memory locations and this bytes entropy is too high so we'll add a break a hardware breakpoint or again initial bytes we already added here we can notice with that we'll run the code and again we can notice the same hardware breakpoint is alerted ebx actually having a pointer to the uh, buffer of 4f and it is transferred to the esi you can notice here esi have a uh, si is a 4f byte Somewhere it's, there is a decryption is happening, we can notice there is a XOR functions and couple of uh, functions as well, uh, other functions as well. The, uh, there is a, again a loop and after the loop uh, some decoded bytes are moving back to the actual memory addresses. We can notice ESI is moving back to EBX plus 4 and EAX moving to the EBX. It seems like this is a pointer to the EBX and EBX plus 4. And EBX is refer right now is referring to the these bytes only. What I'll do, I'll put a breakpoint to outside the loop and I'll run the sample. It'll exit from that loop. I'll go step in and we can notice ESI is uh, copying some bytes to this memory location and uh, same to EAX to so moving to EBX mode. Again, so there are more 
device to be de decrypted i'll just you know uh, exit from this function and we can notice this is a, a main loop which will be you know uh, if you put a breakpoint outside the loop and we'll getting the decoded buffer here i'll add a software breakpoint outside the loop and run the sample till exit the loop we can notice the uh, uh, bytes are decrypted now and uh, it's starting with the e801 i'll just refer in a disassembler since we already have set to the hardware breakpoint it's showing red color here i'll the hardware breakpoint is a no, no use presently i'll remove here I'll put a software breakpoint instead of hardware breakpoint. It's more convenient for me here. We can see the software breakpoint is alerted, and um, uh, there are a couple of functions also. Uh, since I know uh, uh, it will allocate one more time the memory buffer, and uh, try to decrypt the uh, type, try to load the decrypted content. So I'll run till user code. And uh, double two eight double o double o is a newly allocated buffer, and uh, same technical apply here also. I'll put a hardware breakpoint and run the code. We can notice E eight is copied here in the memory address, and uh, it seems to be a certain algorithm it's using. Maybe it's a, a unknown algorithm for me. If you guys know any known, it be, uh, it's a known algorithm. You can please comment in the comment section. I'll just find out where exactly return instruction will be present in the code. Yeah, I can notice here. There is a return. Here is a loop. I see. So I'll put a breakpoint to outside the loop and I'll run the sample. can notice the buffer will be decrypted and i can find any payload yep. interestingly we can notice here is a payload present and uh, uh, without wasting more time i'll uh, refer this uh, memory address in the memory map and uh, i'll dump the uh, memory section to the file i'll name it as a payload saving to this in the desktop opening it will take a few moments to load the sample into the ida pro meanwhile we'll check the payload into the detect it easy we can see the entropy is less and uh, detect it easy is saying the sample is not bad so we are uh, successfully able to get the payload from the smoke loader and also in the ida pro we can notice the regular functions that means the code part is more in the sample and the data section is very less that's that's a main indicator that we can say that now we